welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. Today I did something that's very light and natural. This is perfect for a like springtime look, but it can totally go for any season. Um, this is definitely something that's a little bit more than natural, like I said already. Um, but last time I did something a little bit dark and smoky and dark lips, so today I just wanted to kind of lighten it up and make it a little bit more fresh, but this is definitely still glamorous. You can definitely take off the lashes, just do regular mascara. You can even get rid of the wing liner, anything that fits you better. If you don't feel like you need to wear lashes and you don't need to wear a wing liner, then don't. The look will still look the same, it'll still look fresh, it'll still look glamorous, and it'll totally be for you. So that's how I feel. Like I definitely don't want to push anyone to wear any certain type of makeup. This is just work. what works for me. So definitely do whatever you feel like works best for your skin type and your look, and it'll work out perfect. But I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And everything that I use in this video will be down in the description box, as always. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So first, we're going to start out with MAC Fix Plus Primer Water. And we're going to spray this all over the face. Then we're going to go in with the NYX Angel Vow Primer. We're going to apply this to the center of the face, mostly just for smoothing and blurring out any imperfections. Then for foundation, we're going to go in with... Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I usually apply this about three stripes on both sides of the face, one down the nose, on the chin, and two on the forehead. That's just what I have found to work the best and give me the best coverage. Then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush to buff this out onto the skin. Then going in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is a peachy toned concealer corrector that goes underneath the eyes that's going to cover any darkness or redness underneath of the eyes. I'm going to use my Morphe M173 brush to apply this, then use my handy dandy finger, finger to blend it out. Then for concealer today, we're gonna to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm gonna apply this underneath the eyes, down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and center of the forehead. The best way to do this is to brighten up the face, but don't just apply it underneath the eyes. You wanna give your center of the face just as much light as under the eyes do. Then I'm gonna be using the same Morphe brush that I used for my foundation to buff out my concealer. Then going in with IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Setting Brush to set underneath of the eyes. I am going to do kind of a baking technique. I'm just not going to pack as much powder on as I usually do, but I'm going to leave the powder on there while we fill in the brows. Moving on to the brows, we're going to use the Anastasia Brow, Will Brow Wiz, wow I can't talk today, in taupe to fill out my eyebrows. I am only going to show one eyebrow on camera today because I did go in depth a little bit more in my last tutorial, so I will link that down below for you guys to check that out. But if you do want to see a full blown brow routine, I will totally film that for you guys. You just have to let me know in the comments below. After I'm done filling in both brows, I'm just going to wipe any of the excess powder underneath the eyes off with the same brush we used before. Then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match setting powder and set the entire face. You guys know I like putting a bronzer and contour powder on top of a powder instead of a cream contour. That is the reason why I set my entire face. Then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set the eyebrows. I 
And then for eyes today, we're going to start out with peach smoothie. I'm going to be using my Sigma tapered blending brush, which is the E35. I'm going to apply this to the entire crease and blend upwards. This is going to make the look appear more warmer and it's going to give us our first transition state transition shade so when we go in with the next one it blends out nicely for the next color we're going to go in with creme brulee which it has the same type of tones very warm but it's a very light brown but it's going to be a little bit deeper than the first shade that we use so we're just going to work up each time using a darker shade just to give it a more deepened look to the outer corners and into the crease Then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe shade in 29. It's a very light shimmery pink. I'm gonna apply this to the entire lid with a flat shading brush from Morphe. Then once we've applied this to both lids, we're just gonna blend it out, make sure everything's blended nicely and go in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and apply this to the center of the lid just to give it that very highlighted spotlight appearance. To the to the eyes then we're just gonna go back in again and blend just to make sure everything is seamless now I was very very bad at filming this so most of that footage is completely off-camera but I am gonna use my liquid eyeliner from jar cosmetics to apply both wings then I'm gonna go in with two mascaras today. First mascara I'm gonna go in is my Benefit Roller Lash after I am done curling my lashes, which I'm taking forever to do. There we go, Benefit Roller Lash. Then I did not show the second mascara, so after I apply this, I am gonna go in with a little bit of L'Oreal's um, True Black Mascara, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's what I used. Um, carbon black mascara. Then, after we apply the mascara to both eyelashes, I am going to go in with my Demi Wispies from Ardell and apply them using my House of Lashes eyelash glue. So once both lashes are done, it's always an achievement. Gonna go in with my NYX Black Coal Liner, which any black liner will do, and just tight line the upper water line just to make sure that there isn't any difference between our top lash our top oh my god top liner and our lash line then going in with a cream liner I'm gonna apply this to the bottom lashes just to make the eyes appear more awake and using our Too Faced chocolate bronzer I'm going to apply this to the outer parts of my face just to bronze it up and warm up the skin. Then after we apply this with our Real Techniques fluffy angled brush, I'm going to go in with my Hula Benefit bronzer and a very tapered small blending brush. I'm going to apply this right into where I want my contour to start and blend upwards. For blush today, we're gonna to go in with Makeup Geek Spellbound and Head Over Heels. I'm gonna mix both of these on a duo fiber brush and apply them to the apples of the cheeks and blend upwards into the contour. Then for highlighter today, I was terrible at making sure I filmed close-ups of this. I am using a mixture of Champagne Pop and Pearl from the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and applying that to the highest points of the cheekbones and down the center of the nose and the tip of the nose and then putting a little bit on the cupid's bow. Then going in with the highlight shade that I am using from Makeup Geek, which is Ice Queen, I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of the eyes and underneath of the brow bone. I'm 
I'm gonna finish off the entire face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm gonna apply this to the entire face. Then go in with my lip combo today. I'm gonna be using the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle. I'm gonna apply this to the entire lips, color it in all the way in, and then top it off with a gloss from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm going to be using Madison Avenue on top of the new truffle from NYX. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye-bye.